everyone, it's Melanie, and today we are going to make a color changing slime kit by Elmer's. This is my first time making slime, so let's see how user friendly this product is. This item includes everything we need to make slime, except for a few additional items that you have lying around the house. The other additional items you will need are a bowl that is medium or large, a spatula, and a teaspoon. Now let's get started. So this slime comes with two glues so you can actually make two slimes, two activators, as well as the UV light to color change your slime. So let's get started in making the slime that turns blue to purple. The first step is pouring out your glue into your container, the whole bottle. Step two is adding two teaspoons of this Elmer's Magical Liquid, and then we stir. I'm going to add one more teaspoon because the box says you can add at least three teaspoons of this activator. Okay, now it says I need to take it out and knead it with my hands. Super sticky. So it might need more activator. Okay. This slime definitely needs more activator. <laughs> it's super sticky. I'm gonna put it back in the bowl. Since that was far too sticky, I'm going to add another teaspoon of the activator. Hopefully that will help. If not, we can always add more. I'm add a teeny bit more, I think, and then it should be ready. It's getting a little bit harder to stir. Oh yes, I can tell now that the consistency is much better as it's not sticking to my hands as much. It's definitely still sticky and kind of gross, but it's much better than it was. I still think this might need a little bit more activator, so I don't like how it only said two teaspoons and it's using a lot more activator than it said because I've played with slime before and it should not be this sticky. I've never made slime, but I've played with slime and it should not be sticking to me like this. So we're gonna stick it back in the container, add a little bit more activator and keep stirring. Probably about a teaspoon or so more and stir again. Hopefully this will be our last time of stirring. Definitely starting to form into slime. Just trying to get the little pieces off the bottom so we don't waste any of our slime here. Yeah, this is starting to look a lot better. It's more well formed. I can see that it's sticking to itself rather than the bowl. Okay, now let's test it out. Now it just says to knead it in our hands and I may have overactivated this slime actually. Let's see. Oops. Let's get these pieces off the bottom. Oh yeah, this is much better. Can this be like a stress ball or something? Yeah, a lot of people like to use slime as a fidget toy, as an anti-stress toy or for ASMR. It gives like nice bubble pops sound. Okay, there we go. So it's not overactivated. It 
feels pretty good. And this is color changing slime. So if I were to go outside, it would turn purple, but I do have a handy little UV light here that will test it out on my hand. So now it's turning purple. Here are some afterthoughts after making the Elmer's Color Changing Slime Kit. I really enjoyed making the slime, however, the activator amount wasn't quite right, so I had to mess around with the amounts. But once I got the hang of it, it's really, really fun to pull apart and to snap, bubble pop, and all that kind of things like that. Um, I think this would be a great project for like a summer day or a rainy day for parents with their kids. As long as they have supervision, don't let them do this by themselves because it can be quite messy. Or for teachers for a chemical and physical change activity because you can't take this apart. Once it's slime, it's slime. You can't take the glue and the activator apart. So it'd be a great activity for science for teachers. Thank you for watching the video. This is Melanie and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. That's cool.